Welcome to the Kalinet Hunter complete porting guide. Today we're gonna have a look at the Kalner 3 for LG V20 International. So this device has been already done earlier versions of Android. So today we're gonna hop onto the Lineage OS 18.1. So this particular device has been already added. Let's clone its kernel sources. Upon doing some research, you can find uh, sources directly from Lineage or you can Google it wherever you start from. The basic needs is always a good kernel source. First, you're gonna try and build the whole thing as it is. We also have to clone our Kalinat Hunter kernel builder script which is gonna help us building the source. We will need to select a local config which we need to copy to the root of the kernel builder. Let's have a look at the local config. So this is already optimized for most of the usage. In case you need clang for kernel 4, just comment out the onset clangs. Otherwise, the rest is fine for today. We're gonna need to add our device's name, which is H990. And we also add our link for the new kernel source with the branch. Okay, we have our local config in place, which will help us set up the environment with the links in there. Let's do that. And once that's done, we can head on to option number two, configure and compile kernel from scratch. And we have to select our dev config, which is in our case is H990 dev config. And let's build. you need to know if there's any issues with the building you have to look out for another tool chain just replace it the link in the, in the local config file this is pretty typical so the yy lock is missing from the file let's patch that one We have patches for most kernel versions, although if you have any new patch, feel free to contribute to us and upload to the Kalinat Hunter kernel builder GitLab repo. Link's gonna be in the description. Now that's patch done, let's build. Okay, so we have our first build done. Select number eight, where you can edit the any kernel config, where we basically need to add our device's name and as far as we know this is not a slot device it's a few years old now so it's quite not the device name is h990 we can leave the rest as it is let's save it and use number six create an any kernel zip and we can flash our first kernel to the device Please note, in order to have Lineage OS on your phone, you need to have an unlocked bootloader. And for a NetHunter, you're gonna need a root. So the guides are mostly on the Lineage OS website. Although if you are looking to flash another OS, just make sure you have these dependencies. Once we have a successful boot, we can continue and do our NetHunter patches. Okay, let's speed this up because it will take a long time. This guide is available online. I will leave the link down below. I'm adding the CD-ROM, the keyboard mouse patch, the wireless injection patch, and the Realtek wireless drivers patch. I'm also adding the new virtual Bluetooth driver so the internal Bluetooth can be used for Bluetooth attacks. I'm pushing a commit for each applied patches to my repo. 
so it will be tracked easily. Huge shout out to David Bomba who's making awesome videos. If you decide not to port a kernel, you can head on and check his video about installing NetHunter on any device, even without root. If you need any support, feel free to join our Discord or Telegram channel. Links are going to be down in the description. Please bear in mind, there are kernels which really accepts any patches, but there are some really stubborn and always have a fault. You need to get experience and you can get rid of it. It's quite easy to pick up after a few kernels you did. Some devices don't even boot with some drivers enabled, so then we can go for enabling them as a module. Okay, let's build the net hunter kernel. Success. Okay, now let's clone the devices repo and the Kali net hunter installer repo so we can add our device to the config and we can create our own Kali net hunter installer zip. You may also want to add to the repo, feel free to contribute and add any of your ported devices to our repo and all you need to do is edit the devices config, copy a section out of it and add your device. You also need to add your kernel and if you have any modules to the appropriate folder inside the devices repo. I will also leave the links down below for building the installer zip and to adding your device to the devices repo. Let's copy the kernel and the modules into the NetHunter devices folder and build.
I'm going to create a match request. If everything is fine, you should do so as well. You can edit the Caramel's YML file and commit. All down, it's time to flash. Wonderful, we have our Kalinet Hunter running on the RGB20. Let's head on to the app, start our CA shoot and reboot it. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. See you in the next video.